Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be revealing Nigerian celebrities who went completely broke after so much wealth from football. During their active years as footballers, they hanged large sums of foreign currencies in various denominations that spanned several years from Europe to Asia to North America and other well-developed countries. And they built mansion, home, flew private jets, wore designer clothes back in those days, drove in the best cars, but all of these things now has gone. And in this video, I'm going to be revealing all of these people to you. But if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon to be notified. Anytime I drop new videos, you can follow me on Instagram at Fable Praise. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Yes, the first person on the list is Taribo West. Taribo West is perhaps one of the most successful Nigerian center back in history. And at the height of his career, he was regarded as one of the best defenders in Europe and was a key member of the Hinter Milan squad between 1997 and 1999. And he was also part of the victorious Olympic gold winning dream team in 1996. Despite featuring top side in Europe such as AC Milan, Derby County, Taribo West is said to be in financial deep waters as millions he made during his playing days that seems to have washed away. He also made a bad investment in his marriage but now can be seen in Lagos trying his hand in winning souls for God the vocation he undertook towards the end of his career. The only noticeable property left for Taribo West is his huge mansion and all other things have probably gone away, according to report. The next person on the list is Mohamed Yusuf. Mohamed Yusuf was a former Inimba defender, enjoyed the starting 11 position in the Super Eagles when the lead Stephen Keshi was the head coach of the Super Eagles and he blossomed in the full back position. He was regarded as one of the best center back in Europe, Asia, and North America. His last known club is Hari Hal of Sudan and this was since 2010. However, the great defender suffered a serious injury in the 2010 African Nations Cup and has been said to have been rehabilitated since there are unconfirmed reports that Mohamed Yusuf is currently based in Kano and is very broke and has been seen to have been abandoned by the authorities and is now living in abject poverty in the city of Kano with no one to cater for his needs. This is really really disheartening. The third person on the list quickly is Celestine Babayaro. Celestine Babayaro is unarguably the best cultured Super Eagles left back. He was among the Super Eagles squad that won the 1996 Olympics for the country Nigeria. Celestine Babayaro played for several big clubs in England and Belgium. And at the time of his career, Celestine Babayaro was among the highest paid African Nigerian players as he earned between 25,000 euros to $30,000 around that time per week at Chelsea in England. He, however, declared himself bankrupt at a court in Croydon in 2010 after being charged by creditors. A final confirmation of his insolency was made known in 2011. Former Newcastle United defender was reported to have lived an expensive life both in Nigeria and England. Stories have found how he blew thousands of pounds in buying exotic items and how he also partied hard with women. And today, Celestine Babayaro is very broke and is currently living in abject poverty. The fourth person on the list is Etim Hessen. Etim Hessen was clearly one of the richest African players in his active days before he ran into trouble in Belgium. He was renowned to have driven two customized car builds to his taste. Imagine that. On visits to Nigeria from his club in Europe, he retained a permanent suit at Sheraton Hotel Ikeja, Lagos. But when he went bankrupt, one of his customized BMW was seized by the hotel when he was unable to pay his bills. Imagine. Later on, he was seen around the national team camp, moving around one room to another after Super Eagles matches and allegedly requesting for financial assistance from his colleagues. Is gradually coming back to reckoning as a married an African diplomat who he has kept out of the public eyes. Etim Hessen now lives quietly in Surulia, Lagos with his family where he is battling with his financial problems. The next person on the list is Victor Agali. Victor Agali was regarded as one of the best strikers in Super Eagles and at that time, he formed a formidable striking partnership with Kano Wanko, which was formally dubbed the Twin Tours. The tall and lanky forward player was loved by Super Ego fans due to his proficiency and exotic skills in scoring goals. His tall physique and his imposing stature saw him lose his boot for top European sides such as the Lopi Marseille and Soros Talk. 
However, sources close to the player reveal that the player is not doing too well financially. Apparently, despite earning an average pay of 25,000 euros per week while in Germany, some failed investments and a clear lavish lifestyle are seen him scrapping financially. Victor Agali, who earns $25,000 per weekly in Europe, is now broke and living in abject poverty. The next person on the list is Infine Ndizi. Infine Ndizi is another super explosive super ego left back who was a key member of the national team between the 2000 and 2004 after graduating from the victorious eaglet sadly fortune took a downward turn for the player as source close to him revealed that infine udc is in a neck debt after squandering the substantial fortune he gained during his playing on high stake gambling and other luxurious and extravagant lifestyle in europe Infine UDZ who featured for AEK Athens and the West Brom while active in his football career is also said to have particularly preference for local manufactured gin and he can also be seen indulging in street gambling with some undesirable element around the newer wood he grew up in which is the ghetto area in Hajigunle, Lagos. The next person on the list is Chike Lue Ilionsi. Chike is another player for the Super Eagles who achieved little with the senior national team. He, however, made a career playing football and quite a profitable one. He was part of the national under 20 side featured in the World Youth Championship in Nigeria in 1999. He also won four caps with the Super Eagles. He's famous for his marriage to the Nollywood actress Stephanie Okiriki, a marriage that was divorced and allowed by the Lagos High Court after it was discovered that he was legally married to another woman in the United States at the time he took Stephanie Okiriki to the altar. However, despite featuring for clubs like Turkey, Libya, Australia, Saudi Arabia, Chiki is not doing so well financially at the present. So claim that the defender has delved into fashion designing with a keen interest into men's clothing. He has, however, several times given moral support, giving moral support to the club project initiated by Billion Club proprietor Infine Oba. He has also delved into politics and is coming up but not like before again the next person which is the number eight on the list is femi or pabumi femi will be remembered for being a key player at the 2001 fifa under 17 world championship where he scored a trick against australia and won himself the silver shoe as the second highest goal scorer of the tournament and also bronze ball as the third player in the tournament helping nigeria to reach the final where they finally lost to france Femi Okpabomi played for Nigeria and made his debut in 2002 against Kenya, scoring the second goal in a 3-0 win. He was a participant at the 2002 FIFA World Cup, playing against England in the last group stage, becoming the third youngest player to ever play in the World Cup finals after Norman's Whiteside and Samuel Hetu. He played for a few clubs including shooting stars Grasshopper's origin with Switzerland, and so many others. He has since retired from the game after he lost one of his highs playing football and at the moment is based in Ibadan where he relies on the little earnings from his wife to sustain his family. Femi Opabumi who survived his late month in Europe through the assistance of his former teammate Peter Ozazi Odewingi is now said to be on his job search. The next person on the list is Wilson Oroma. Wilson Oroma was a former Super Eagles midfielder for six years and had a mental disorder after being defrauded heavily by a Lagos beast pastor and some fake oil businessman. Wilson Oroma, who captained Nigerian under 17 team to win the 1993 World Cup in Japan, played for RC Lanes, Solchas, Marseille and club in Switzerland and Kavala FC in Greece. He made million in the game and declared himself as one of the richest players at that time. Though as a gifted player, Wilson, Wilson Oruma lived in the shadow of Austin J.J. Okocha in the Super Eagles and was frequently used each time J.J. Okocha was out of the game due to kind of injuries and not being eligible for match. He is said to have regained mental health and stability and has been battling to overcome financial challenges that has befallen him since he retired football. The last person on the list is Emmanuel Uibube, the now ex 
defender Emmanuel spent his day hiding from beliefs, sometimes sleeping on the floor of a friend's home, traveling by bus, and even cleaning clothes by hand because he has no washing washing machine. And um, after all his staggering riches, after all his riches, he is now in staggering poverty, which even pushed him to the brink of suicide at one point in his life. This is really, really painful. So what are your thoughts about all of these people? What do you think? What do you think about all the many Nigerian football players going broke? What advice do you have for the future generation players that are currently playing football for the Super Eagles? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about all of these players. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.